What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and Ghost of Tsushima continues to impress. It continues to have incredible sales numbers all the way around the world. We're going to take a look at some numbers from the United States today and how Ghost of Tsushima, even after six weeks of release, is still doing incredibly well within striking distance of the number one spot while The Last of Us Part 2 has fallen completely off the charts and into irrelevancy. It does not bode well for the future sales for The Last of Us 2. Naughty Dog tricked a lot of people into getting this game, into getting hyped for this game, and it paid big dividends those first few weeks, but then it absolutely tanked as word of mouth got around about what that game was about. And it's been the opposite way with Ghost of Tsushima. Look at the numbers from this week. So keep in mind, right, keep in mind that it is now the sixth week since this game has been released, since Ghost of Tsushima has been released. It is still in the top three behind PGA Tour, which released this week, which uh, is pretty highly anticipated, to be honest. I'm actually thinking about picking it up. It's been a long time since we got a good PGA Tour game, which a lot of people are saying this one is. And then UFC, which released two weeks before that. Uh, it is still right there. Nowhere to be seen on this chart is The Last of Us Part 2. It has fallen off the top 10 charts in the United States. And I think a lot of us believe that that is the case because we've seen the store shelves. We know that they are stock full of copies of The Last of Us Part 2. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States, right? There's tons of copies of The Last of Us Part 2. No copies of Ghost of Tsushima in a lot of these places as well because those are selling like hotcakes. Just from my friend Tyler here who tagged me in this said anytime they get some, they're immediately gone while The Last of Us 2 sits on shelves. We have another, someone else here from Canada. That's why it's $80 there, Canadian money. Um, stacks and stacks of The Last of Us 2. This happens anywhere in the world you can find this. I've told the story about the Best Buy that didn't sell a single copy of The Last of Us Part 2 during the first couple weeks of August. The game is not selling anymore, folks. And you can take a look at the differences here. Take a look at the difference. So remember, this game released near the end of June, June 19th officially. So after three weeks, it got knocked out of the top one. It got knocked out of that top spot by F1. Here's the last was part two. Uh, the following week, boom, it goes down to fourth after Paper Mario Origami King and Ghost Tsushima absolutely destroyed it. But it wasn't just those ones. Animal Crossing passed it as well. It wasn't just the new release games, it had games that had been out for a long, long time. Again, these are United States numbers, right? Then we fast forward. Last with Part 2 continues to fall as Ghost hangs on to that top spot. Then, when UFC 4 comes out, you have Ghost of Tsushima. This is last week. Finally knocked out of that top spot, right? After nearly five weeks at number one, boom, gets knocked down to that top spot. Held on to it much longer than The Last of Us Part 2. Because as we're going to show you guys, the interest for this game has completely waned. Where Ghost is still very active. Last of Us 2 all the way down there at number 10. And then finally gets put out of its misery as it falls out completely. Now this is similar all the way around the world right now. When you look at UK charts, when you look at everything. Last of Us 2 just could not maintain that momentum. And what I'm talking about was this, again from Tyler. He searched for all of the communities, right? All the communities that you can play on on PlayStation 4. And when you look at those Ghost of Tsushima communities, it's very interesting, right? They're a lot more active. They have a lot more members in these Ghost of Tsushima communities than they do in The Last of Us 2. Because quite simply, so many people whether they bought it and returned it, whether they bought it and sold it back to GameStop, whether they bought it and just decided, well, I'm never playing this again, have no interest in continuing to play The Last of Us 2. Ghost is the exact opposite. It's almost like when you give us a game that is fun, that doesn't preach to us, that is a good story with incredible gameplay, that people are very receptive to that, that people want to keep playing that, especially when Sucker Punch gives us this free DLC that's going to have multiplayer coming in just a few short months. Unlike 
The Last of Us Part 2 in every way. And I know we've got some people. Uh, I know we've got some people. We're going to look at some salty Last of Us 2 fans who continue to review bomb the thing that you guys were complaining about a couple weeks ago, right? Continue to review bomb Ghost of Tsushima simply because you're upset that it's getting more attention than The Last of Us 2. Just like the people that come in to my comment section every time I make a Last of Us 2 video, never comment on any of my other topics, and they say, you shouldn't hate on this game anymore. Yet you still come two months later, two months after it's been released. You still keep coming and hate watching my videos. You can't stop. So I am not going to stop talking about both of these games. One, because it's incredible and gives us exactly what we want. And two, the other one, because it is a mistake. It is something that should always be held up and shown what not to do. Because Naughty Dog has lost the trust of so many people. Now, when I talk about these Last of Us 2 fans, we talked about this article from Paul Tassi talking about the incredible reviews for Ghost of Tsushima. And you can see the score has actually gone down. It's back down to 9.2, a lowly 9.2. Well, that's due in large part to more review bombing from people who are upset because we don't like The Last of Us Part 2. Interesting that we hear about review bombing for Last of Us 2, but no one talks about it for Ghost of Tsushima, isn't it? Let's take a look. Um, you have this person here, Mark999. Uh, this is just a couple days ago in August. <laughs> look, so he gave two reviews on one day. Zero to SpongeBob and a 10 to The Last of Us Part 2. Um, looks like it was likely to make it not look like a spam, even though that's what we know it was. Gives Ghost Tsushima a zero. Interesting. All right, what if there's any, there any more like that? We've been through this before, but there are even more popping up. They're very easy to spot because these idiots are so easy to see right through what they're doing. Um, Ghost of Tsushima, a zero on August 19th. On August 19th, gives Last of Us Part 2 a 10, right? The, this is just a few days ago, guys. They are still upset. They are still bitter about the fact that Ghost of Tsushima is so much more well-received by audiences all around the world. What about this person? Um, look, now, this one's a little different. He's only reviewed two games. He was a little smarter about it, right? Gives a 9 to The Last of Us Part 2 and a 4 to Ghost of Tsushima. Only two games he's reviewed. Very interesting. Uh, another one, same day, July 27th. 10 to A Last of Us Part 2, 0 to Ghost of Tsushima. And all of them say the same. Very disappointed. The graphics feel old. The gameplay feels clunky. What about this person? Uh, oh, bit clunky. Just like I said, a 10 and a 3 to Ghost of Tsushima. Only games he has reviewed. Same thing. Only two games. 10 and a 3. We're seeing a pattern here, aren't we? We're seeing a pattern. Again, 10 and a 3. Only games they... It's almost like they're organizing on a subreddit somewhere. Wow. I, I wonder why there's no mainstream games journalist talking about this. Because it doesn't fit the narrative, does it? Nah. Doesn't at all. 10 for Last of Us 2. 1 for Ghost. And then this guy, again, tries to cover it up with a SpongeBob SquarePants review, <laughs> right? But a 10 for Last of Us 2, a 0 for Ghost Tsushima. It's so predictable at this point. And despite what anyone's doing, we know that this game is being well-received. We know that the sales are hanging on and tracking much better as it goes on in the weeks than Last of Us 2, who had an incredibly massive first weekend. And then it's completely plateaued. Because, quite simply, word of mouth got around. People found out that, oh, wow, this game's not fun. The story's not good. They tricked me into getting this game. And the word is out. So over time, I can't wait, especially when Legends comes out, the multiplayer. I cannot wait to see Ghost of Tsushima overtake The Last of Us Part Two. And when that happens, when it finally happens, it might take a while. It take, might take months from now. When it finally happens, you can best believe that I will be making videos about that. Even if it upsets all the Last of Us Part 2 fanboys out there 
who still will be hate watching my videos. What do you guys think about all this? What do you think about Ghost Tsushima being able to hold on in that chart so well, even with these new releases coming out? You know, not getting passed by these old things like Animal Crossing and Mario Kart in the United States, like we saw happen to The Last of Us Part 2. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.